Hey you guys and welcome to my hashtag year thon wrap up video. So I did not meet my goal but I guess I'm okay with this because part of the reason is because I expected to like do a lot of reading on Sunday but I ended up having other plans that did not involve staying home and reading. So yeah. Okay. So most of you guys kind of watch my update video, so you guys kind of know what's going on, but I'm giving a brief overview. And the first book that I read was The Outsiders by S. He Hinton, of course, five out of five stars. And then I watched the movie, which is a whole bunch of awesomeness too, and five out of five stars to that as well. And then I read The Giver by Lois Lowry and five out of five stars. And you guys did not know how hard it was for me not to start the other three books in the quartet right there. Then, then I watched the trailer. I rewatched the trailer for this movie, and yeah, it was not. It was yeah, I was right the first time. It was not going good. And then I read the first book in the Seventh Tower series by Garth Nix, and it is The Fall, and it was too. I loved getting back into the series. It was just all this warmth and nostalgia going on. And then I kind of deviated a bit. Um, after that, I added to it. And I read a book from my Kindle. It was a reread. Uh, I read another one actually. <laughs> I read another book too, but I'm not counting that since it wasn't a reread. And hold on, I thought I had this at the cover, but apparently my Kindle wants to press buttons when I'm not looking. And it is A Matter of Necessity by T.D. Um, McKinney, and it was 98 pages of awesomeness. And it is more grown up and romantics and mysterious story and then I read the third the second book in the seven tower series the castle and then the third a near this cover is just so bright blue and shiny and awesomeness and then finally the fourth one above the veil and I actually didn't finish it technically I finished it today because I had like I had like only like three couple of chapters left sort of like that so I'm still counting it. Okay, people, I'm still counting it. So I didn't get to finish the other two books that I wanted to, but still, I did good. So, um, if you guys want to know the day, like, from the 10th to the 13th, 14th, or whatever, is how I finish these books. And, yeah, um, I'll read you a few quotes. Uh, from the Castle book, the Garth Nix one, I had... Here we deal with what is, not what what might be. And then from the third book in the Seventh Power series, I have <sighs> You see the bright star halfway up the sky? That is all alone. The one that shines a little blue. That is for Nora, sad star of the east, who weeps for company. I just had to take deep breaths. <sighs> oh yeah. And then from the last book from that I read in the Garth Nix series, I had written down, Death is the end of a song, but it is not the end of all songs. Here a man died. Somewhere in your castle or out upon the ice, a child has been born. One song ends, another begins. And it was just like, aww. So in the end, I read 1,412 pages so that's kind of good I mean I read more in this week than I read like last month or even I think the last month before that so thumbs up to me hopefully this is what I get for like keeping re uh fan fiction reading down to a minimum I mean I still read fan fiction don't don't get me wrong but <laughs> I tried to keep it to a minimum the YouTube videos were actually my hugest distraction this week. Just so many wrap-ups I'm still watching from people and stuff. So you guys let me know how you guys did on this wrap-up readathon thing. And I'll also leave the link down below to the Goodreads page. And I am going to go off to try and read and finish the Seventh Power series or either be on the internet fee of restriction of not feeling guilty for not <laughs> reading during my readathon and hey I hope this makes up for Twilight Month in which I read 12, 12 pages yeah that was I'll leave my wrap up to that below because <laughs> I mean <laughs> that was just sad that was I'm, I'm gonna see you guys later as I trend with the sadness of those 12 pages I don't think anyone's ever gonna let me live it down